Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to check whether an alphabet is vowel or consonant using switch statement. So if you remember in last video, we saw same program but using if and else condition. So let's first of all discuss what is vowel and consonant. So first of all, you have to understand what is alphabet. So alphabet means like A, B, C till Z. Okay. This is called alphabet. Here A, E, I, O, U is called vowels. Okay. Apart from that, like B, C, D, all are remaining alphabets is called consonants. Okay. So we have to write a program like if any character containing either A, E, I, O, U, that means we have to say, okay, it is a vowels. Otherwise, we have to say it is consonant. So let's start this. So first of all, we need to take input. So I'm going to start with character because I'm just going to take only one character. So that's why I'm referring here character. Otherwise, we can use a string. So character C and here our input will be like I. Okay. So by seeing we can say, okay, it is a vowel. So what we can do, we have to use switch here. So how you can write S W I T C H. Here we have to pass our input. So who is containing our input C. After that, here we have to mention all the cases. So cases means like, what is the cases of vowel? So either it can be A, E, I, O, U. So you can write like this C, A, S, E, A using the single quotes, then colon, same case, E. Similarly, you have to write I, O, U. So here you can see, right, I have mentioned all the cases A, E, I, O, U. That means if anyone will satisfy this case, that means it will print like it is a vowel. So how you can do? Just use system.out.println. After that, just print the input C plus is vowel. So if it will be satisfied this condition, correct, then it will go to print this line. Okay, that means line number 13. But in case, if it will not satisfy, then what will be happen? So in that condition, we need to say like, okay, it is a consonant. So how we can do? So first of all, we have to break. Because if it satisfy this condition, that means it has to be break this program. After that, just use default. The default means like if it will not satisfy with any these cases, then it will come to this line. And here just use colon, just use system.out.println and print like C is consonant. Correct. Now run this program. You can see right. I is a vowel. So now if I will change with P input, then it is showing consonant. So here you can see I have given this value as a static. You can use a scanner and you can take the input. So if you don't know how to take input using a scanner, please watch this video.